All right, welcome friends to Chaoticism. Part three of my Resident Evil 4 gunless run. Um, last episode, I got a little stuck at the end. I wasn't quite sure how to proceed, but I remembered something that I watched a while back in this particular spot. Um, but you'll see when we get to Ashley's point. It's going to be pretty much the same up until we get to where Ashley has to go up onto the catwalk. We're just going to get as much gunpowder as we need because flashbangs are the goat. Good, we are getting gunpowder. I would like to get another hand grenade, but just one is fine. I was able to do it last time. Uh, I did need to craft a flashbang or two, but we can get there at this point. Ooh. Yeah, if you look down there, you the aggression of enemies kind of gets lowered. Like when you're off screen, there's less of a chance for them to get aggressive. But that didn't work there. So, Oh, we got another hand grenade. Okay, that's safe. And we got two fucking hand grenades. That is insanity. This guy's going to swing. He's going to miss. This girl's going to grab, punch, and miss. Miss! Oh my god. That was some good running through the enemies. Alright. So that flash. Now we can just go. I don't even need to go to that vase in the back there. I tried it last time. That wasn't a very good idea. Too many enemies from up top came down and it really just messed everything up. So here we go. Scythe dude. Nice try. This size guy can try and freaking kill me. Oh god. Kind of got messed up. But they all got flash banged. Out of my way dudes. Out of my way. One, two, three, four. All right, let's go, Ashley. It's just shield, dudes. Oh, he really got me. Oh, he got me, too. Okay. We're going to heal. This is not going well. But we will flashbang him. They'll put Ashley down, and we'll get up here, and hopefully they will forget I exist and just let Ashley come up here. I am going to need to deal with these archers but okay there's actually good that was the worst part this guy's not looking at me so we can just run in for a backstab shank and if we do end up needing more flashbangs we can go for them uh we get to this edge and the guys from downstairs are they're gonna come say hi here in a second at least they were all right more gunpowder we want to max out all this stuff here Raise this platform, max out our flashbangs. And then the goal is Ashley's gonna turn that crank first and a bunch of enemies are gonna come walking at her. We want to make sure that she finishes raising the platform before they grab her. But once she raises the platform, we let them grab her. These guys are staging over here. I do have three hand grenades. I could try and kill a few of them, but I think I'll get the, all the, the remaining flashbangs I need. I don't think I need any more than this six. I do need one for when I like run away because they tend to, there's like eight of them that group up down here and then some of the ones from up there will come down, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna send her up. And then we'll see how this goes. I'm going to only flashbang them once they get too close. And if she hasn't lifted the platform yet, then I will flashbang them. But he's going to start walking really slow. If he gets too close, like I said, I'll flashbang him. Um, but he will back up a little bit. I think one flashbang is good enough. We're definitely going to flashbang him. He's getting too close. And he's just walking towards her. Bruh. Almost there. Okay, it's up. I'm gonna let him grab her. And I think they're gonna take her all the way back here. And that's when I wanna flashbang him again. She ain't gonna move. We'll just let him grab her. And if it's gonna be a big group of guys that's gonna spawn. Just to see if I can blow him up. This guy's being a dick. Let's see if I can stab him. Leave me 
All right. I'll let her get to the intersection, then throw. All right. They died. It's gunpowder. Yo, leave her be, dog. So I threw that only because the guys were fucking with her. And this guy is also fucking with her, dude. And I'm not digging you, man. We might need to try again because that did not go out, go that well. Yeah, we are way too shallow on flashbangs. Fuck. I have one flashbang left. And she's not even going to go for it because the guy's standing right in front of it. I don't have enough. Might need to try again. Let's just pray to God that she can get it lifted. <laughs> nope. Damn. All right, we're going to try again. That was just bad luck because I had to waste so many at the intersection. I'm going to pray we get enough hand grenades for that this next time around. And if I need to, if we really get that screwed, I can always go back to the merchant and get the 10 gunpowder, which is two more flashbangs. Just got to restock again. Yeah, so this strategy for the first part of Waterhall, I learned doing my S plus playthrough. Kind of like a speedrunner tactic. Just keep our head down, run past. Yep, I watched out. Don't worry, sweetheart. Get these now. Come on, Ashley, don't get stuck behind him. Okay, we only have the one hand grenade, which is no problem. Shank you in the neck. Wasn't very nice of you to play with me. I don't want to play with you guys. All right, put that in. Turn around and flashbang. One and two and three and four. All right, well, it sucks, though. We don't have any more hand grenades. But no worries. He's going to come up here. He's probably going to get flashbanged anyways. Did he not get flashbanged? One and a two and a three and a four. Okay, that flashbanged him. Hopefully she'll come up here. I'm not going to leave you, Ashley, as long as you come. Come here, come here. Got a hand grenade, that's lucky. And useful. Alright, let's craft up our flashbangs. I can make three of them. Yep. And then if we kill these guys and get gunpowder, we can make one more at the very least. Stab you. Okay, can make another one. I was lucky. <laughs> I just pressed that out of the blue. I didn't even intend that. Don't worry, I'm watching out. Okay. Make one more flashbang. Alright, seven. Okay. A little over the top, don't you think? Send Ashley up. We need to 
use these hand grenades to get the enemies away from her because they will crowd around her and she won't move. Excuse me, with all the enemies around her. Like I said, it did work. When I did my testing, it only took me the one attempt. He's getting a little close. Flashbang him. There we go. He was walking away. That's ideal. Where he walks away. Man, he really went far. And then once she gets the platform up, there's going to be more guys that show up there. So I'm not going to use my hand grenades in these guys like I did last time. Hang on. I've got you. I'm going to fight off some of these guys. Got the kick. Did he die? Nice, he did. Okay, he's... They're close. Alright, throw it right there. Oh, I hope that doesn't hurt. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, she's moving. She's moving. Anybody else get close to her? I'm gonna hand grenade him first, because I do have the extra. There he is. Hand grenade him. Boom. He dead. And then flashbang them. Kick this bitch. Just keep them away from her. Almost done. Throw one more for safety. Now she's going to jump down here. Sweet, dude. Oh, my God. Only took two tries. That's not bad. Come on, Ashley. Let's go. Shank. Oh, we got a and gunpowder, hand grenade and gunpowder resupply. Hell yeah, two hand grenades. Oh my god. Ashley, are you all right? Well, at least that part's done with. I can't think of the next pain in the butt part. I think the dogs are gonna be bad, so we're gonna keep. Well, Come on. this next room's pretty crappy too. There's a lot of enemies in a tight space with the red zealot. It's going to be kind of a pain. <coughs> Feeling okay? You're going to try and shank me. Turn my known knife against me. Here in this cutscene. Yes, I do want to save. <laughs> and I notice some of you guys have probably pointed it out, but I'm I'm being very bad and I'm not staggering saves like I should be. So at the start of this chapter eight, I really should have done it for this last one in case I really needed hand grenades. I could have just loaded up a previous save and then break a lot of the vases, but <laughs> I should have just left them. I should have known. But hey, this is a this is kind of an easier gunless because we are actually allowing the usage of hand grenades which if you do a true like knife only then uh, that part will be the first part that you're allowed to use grenades because there's no way past it there's no way Ashley's going to get released from the enemy they're going to grab her so alright we are going to eat the fish We are going to mass produce flashbangs. <clears throat> Cannot get the scratch emerald. That don't matter. Oh, maybe I can. Let's see. No, there's no way to reach that. I'm going to leave this crate and then I'm going to save before it just in case I want to try and get or like use it to. When I reload a save in case I fail in this next room. Because it's going to be a real bastard of a room. Welcome. 
So let's sell. Do I want to eat the rhinoceros beetle? Or keep it? I think I'll keep it. Sell those resources. Handgun ammo, shotguns. Keep all of our knives. Yeah. Put the emerald in splendid bangle. Finally get rid of it. I think I'll trade for the gunpowder. I can't imagine anything else other than the exclusive upgrade ticket being necessary. And we'll buy a first aid spray. Buy a resource thing. We'll buy the armor. Okay, tune up our knife. Nice. Alright. That'll help out. And yes, we will eat the rhinoceros beetle. Just to get the health. Because we don't need the money. We need the health. So the sooner we can get to max health, the better. We'll make these two more flashbangs. Okay. Got a full heal fish. We got two of these. I think we're good. I think we're good on healing items and flashbangs and grenades and all that crap. We're going to hold on to these grenades till we get to the ramparts. So let us save again. All right. So now that we saved, we can break this box and a bunch of gunpowder. So that's good. All right, red zealot time. <sighs> Let's just get in there and knife him. Glory alas plagas. Glory alas plagas. These unarmed guys might as well just crouch and run away from. Let's flashbang him. Go up and stab him. Bink. Are you... Oh my god, he died in one hit. I was not expecting that. I'm going to be completely honest. I was not expecting him to die in the one hit. So, oh shite. Uh, let's go this way. Get the flock out of here. Oh, hey, dude. You kind of goofed yourself. And you pushed me to the ground there, bud. What's in it? Gunpowder. What's in here? Gunpowder. Break out. Break out. I realistically should not be getting these. I should just get in the hell out of here. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Since I only used the one flashbang, there's really nothing valuable I can get out of any of those boxes besides more gunpowder, but five flashbangs is plenty. You know, I always forget to come back here with Ashley. Open that door just just in case I remember to come back with her. Very small off chance that I do. Well, next is the ramparts. Uh, defeating the first little plaga, I think, is going to be a son of a gun. Break you open, get you. No, oh, no, get you. Lithographic stone. Other lithographic stone. Do I have any more keys? Nope. Let the graphic stone. Open you. Extracting the clock. And let's drip out this clock. Alright, let's see what the value is. 25, 200. 27, 500. I don't think that's worth it. Lay that. That's fine. And can't put anything in there. I'm not a speedrunner, so I don't know, like, the lightning-fast solution to this one. But this one's that, so it goes here. This goes down. This goes up here, and then the top one just rotates. There we go. Easy, easy. That should do it. That definitely does it. Large resource, nice. Got to restock those. I think I've been using up pretty much all of them. Oh, great. So 
There's a little plaga. Because these guys are fast. They are fast and they are ruthless. So... But I think I can just... No, I can't run by him because he literally comes down this hallway. I wonder if I lure him back. Christ. If I lure him back and into this room, maybe I can... Get around him! Oh, I did. Sa wheat. Ain't no reason to fight him. Let's just get down here. And we'll save. Nothing. Tune up the knife. I did get hurt, so we'll tune that up. Oh, I should have probably saved me tuning that up in case I die and forget. Alright. Oh, I forgot. We do need a hand grenade for that. Oh, fuck. Is that too far for me to throw a hand grenade? She said meeting you once was enough. Uh, I could throw it right there. Got it. And we might need to go to the top because I'm going to save these hand grenades for all these crazy spots. Oh, dude, look at this beauty right here. Watch this. Stab him. Kick him. Oh, I missed the kick on him, but I just stab him in the face. Oops. Sorry, I was playing around a little too much, guys. Why does it take armor durability away to get grabbed? That doesn't make any sense. You're literally just getting grabbed. There's no damage they're doing to your armor. What, do they like undo the Velcro a little bit or something? Oh my god. I'm gonna try and extinguish you of your ailment here, bud. Yeah, don't worry. I got you. I got you, bro. So now that he's dead, I can deal with you. Fun fact... A lot of people hate the bolt thrower. In my first casual playthrough of this game, I relied heavily on it because of its near infinite ammo. And I have found out that the bolt thrower will kill those little plaga in one hit. So I think the bolt thrower does increase damage to um, plaga. Which is really helpful when you don't want to waste, you know, 400 pistol rounds trying to shoot those little guys if you can just get them with one with one bolt they're dead they're donezo that's it so I'm going to have to go down here which I have not been down here in a long time because I've been doing the speedrunner trick where you shoot through here I wonder if you can knife probably not Yeah, if I discovered a way to knife this, that would be so sweet. But unfortunately, we're just going to leave it be. Go the intended route. Oh, you know what? Before coming down here, I should have gone back and repaired my knife. Look how low it is. Okay, when we get up, we'll go back. Hey, dude. Oh my god, he threw it. Got you. I tricked you, bro. Literally tricked you, man. I am a freaking master of deception. Another hand grenade. Nice. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, crap. Oh, fuck me. But, you know what? Hand grenade solves that problem. Yeah. He's going for the big attack. Yep, he got me. Oh, we got a fish. Let's eat the fish. Alright, yeah, I definitely need to go back and repair my knife. That was very not smart of me to do.
God, I only remember this area from separate ways where you literally come in the opposite direction. Hey, guy. Want to come down here? Instead of hang out up there like a moose knuckle? I got another boot knife, so that's good. Yeah, dude, you were like not doing too well in this whole killing Leon thing. Blew his freaking leg off. Okay, we can go. Let's go get the treasure. Fuck it. Fuck it. Are you coming? Are you, are you coming? Ooh, crap. Ooh, crap. He got me there. Get the kick. Get the treasure. All right. Got a hand grenade, that's nice. All right, I need to figure out a way. I won't be able to go back this way. I gotta go to the top and then jump back down. Oh, hey guy. Since I have so many grenades, I'm gonna use this on him. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's a lot of guys here, man. Fuck. I'm just gonna run past them. And El Gigante comes out to play. Oh, boy. I hope I can break this. Okay, good. Um... Alright, so we have access to repair our knife again. That's what we really needed, because we were running low. Can he hit me over here? Oh god, I totally forgot about him. <laughs> hey dude, I need to repair my knife. I'll sell all this crap. Get some more money out of it. Alright. Alright. <sighs> Okay, we can create more flashbangs. Right, let's save here. Oh, I hope we can get good cover, yeah. Fun fact, shoot him with the infinite rocket launcher and he goes right away. Not the deal with him. Oh! I can't hide from him here. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Oh, nice. All right, up we go. Um. Just let him kill him. Oh, he missed him. Shit. Hey, bud. Let's just forget our differences, okay? I don't want to play with you. Yeah, I didn't want to play with you, man. But you forced my hand. Can I be seen by El Gigante? No. Let's just climb up. There's treasure up here, so we're going to get that treasure. I think there's also a yellow herb. Is there a yellow herb? I can't remember. Yikes, 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 yikes. Which is not a very good position. 
And naturally, the archer's hanging out. Oh, crap. Oh, hey, guys. I'm hoping El Gigante kills me. Yeah, dude, throw your shit over here. Did not kill them. Is probably not going to kill them. Oh, he did. Is that all of them? Yep, that's all of them. Gunpowder, I need gunpowder. Oh, that rock came out of nowhere. Kind of squeezed into the crack there. All right, let's go back down. I'm just gonna play it safe. We're not doing a speed run. Better safe than sorry. All right, and um, get the backstab on him. El Gigante is moving into position. I have to hand grenade this thing. Yeah, because I can't hit that. Good thing I can stand in this fire. You gonna help me, El Gigante? Break that thing? Cause I sure shit can't reach it from here. Alright. Yeah, no, there's no chance in hell. Alright. Well, I kind of screwed myself, so let's just throw that there and pray. We are in. Gonna need more hand grenades. Oh, yeah. Because I could throw a hand grenade through that crack right there, but I, I want to hold on to it just in case. Because I, I don't remember 100% where all of the the rock balls are, the, the rock weights. So I need to be conservative. Make sure I at least have one on hand. Can I break that one from here? Oh, yeah. I cannot. going keep going keep going oh hope I'm fast enough and there's a guy to my right yep there he is and he tried to get me just keep going don't let the crossbow guys get me oh fuck why are you in my way bro oh I didn't block it I probably could have gotten by if I didn't protect with my knife but we're in here now and we're gonna kill him swing Yeah, when we get the ultimate upgrade on this knife, it's going to be so overpowered. Oh, there's another guy coming in. And there's a friend. I don't want to play with your friend. Break out. I do not want to play with your friend, buddy. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize he was going to do that swing. Okay, this isn't going very well. I need to cut my losses and get the hell out of here. We'll sacrifice him to the El Gigante. Let's see if the uh, shield guy will come out in time. Get El gigante Yes. Yes. No. No. Bro. Delay him as much as we can. Come on, El Gigante, kill him. I don't want to play with him. Nice. Just what I wanted. These archers are kind of being brats. But we're going to go down. I forgot. Is there a treasure in here? Or is that just separate ways? There it is. I think there was treasure in here. Oh, that's kind of disorienting. And I don't think I can get the treasure. I'm looking up as high as I can. Okay, well, I guess we can't get that treasure. No worries. No worries. I 
Man, his arm's gonna get strong from all this just reckless throwing. I always get nervous here climbing up the ladder because there's just barely enough time to get out of the way of the rocks. Oh, crapola. Okay, yeah, the archers were like literally shooting at my back. I was not having fun. Alright, so we already killed the guy that normally blocks you here. Got a key, open this up. I think this is an ornate beetle. Yup. That was an interesting way to come down the stairs. It had me disoriented. <laughs> oh, crap. I was too far away. Just a fraction of an inch. Whoa, why are the archers down here? Yikes, a Rooney. Are they going to come up? No, I don't see them. Well, let's just turn it at the top and shoot the El Gigante. Oh, he is coming up. In case you guys are warning, I use my arrow keys to turn that thing because doing it with the mouse is just cancerous. It's just the worst thing ever. I only got two of them. And I got three of them. And let's get off. Oh my god, he's standing right next to me. Should I break the... Yeah, I'm going to break the... No! Stagger. Stagger, darn you. Come on, girl. This is the archer with the most health I've ever seen in my life. Oh, and your friend was here. Sorry. Must have you know, I should read up on the damage calculations versus, from the stab versus the slash. Like, does the slash do more damage, but it's slower? I honestly cannot say that I know that. If I could say for sure, I should say. Well, I can't break that. All right, well, on we go. No returning here. Sorry. That part wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. We got through first try. But now we are in the hedge maze. Oh God. Ashley, where are you? Fighting these dogs is gonna be horrible. Oops, gotta press space. Okay. Looting, looting, looting all that stuff. All right, we definitely need to fix up our knife. Oh, we can't yet. Not until we open up the gates. So, I think there's no point in flashbanging all the crows. Combine that with that. That maxes out. What about the snake? Let's see the snake. That gets us pretty close without topping us off. All right. Man, I say all right enough. Like, way too much. i work on that. It's like my, um, when playing a game. Like, when I'm thinking about the next thing, I say, all right. Okay, it's always a good idea to leave this last. 
So that way, when you rescue Ashley, you have to go up here anyways. And then you can just throw a flashbang and you're already ready to go. But then once you flashbang and she's free, you can generally run in there and get her to just spawn in. That's like a little, another little speed running tactic I learned from my S plus run, so. Yeah, we'll work, we'll use the boot knife only when my combat knife runs out. Now, there's another snake in here, I think. Yeah, there he is. There's a dog running around here. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you run away now, bud. You run away now. I don't want to deal with you. Ah, crap. I don't want to deal with you. Oh, he attacked Ashley. She'll be alright as long as a dog doesn't go nearby. Hmm. He jumped through the hedges. Not very nice of him. I don't think the dog should aggro to Ashley for any reason. It's kind of be... That would be kind of silly if they did. Go right. Yeah, I'm fine. And I think one pops out here. Oh no, it's the next corner. So there are these dogs. I should probably flashbang them once they jump out, because the next cage has three dogs. I'm going to let him break out, then flashbang. So we'll get the stab. Stab the other one. That way we don't have to deal with him. Nothing in there? The next cage, I think, has a flashbang inside of it. Okay, dog attacks you from here. Oh! Well, he attacks you from one side anyways. Oh, <laughs> there he is. He did die. Right, we just need to grab the treasures and go up. I do not have enough knife durability to deal with all this crap. Yeah, there's the dog coming for me. He's right behind me. Let me get up. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Dog still hanging out down there? I don't see him anywhere. Okay. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Into this hand grenade. Ah, uh, there's a dog. Is he coming for me? Oh, he's he's coming here to play. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. That one came after me. Ah, crap. Oh well. We need this grenade for these guys right here. Oh, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. You are up and about. Just kill him. Just kill him. He <sighs> died. Ah! There's a flashbang right there. Let's go through. I got resources so I can build more flashbangs. And the dogs are whatever. Once we get Ashley on this lever. You hold on to that girl. Ay yeah 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 Oh no You okay? Pupskies, you ought to die. You ought to die for that. Just leave her be, bro. Just leave her be. <laughs> he has it out for me. God Alright, so we have to do flashbang tactics for this next part. I'm 
I'm going to hold on to the hand grenade. I don't think I want to use my hand grenade. Oh, I already used it, actually. Never mind. I don't even have a hand grenade. Huh. Huh. Yeah, they are. Oh, I caramba. There's a lot of puppies here. You know what? We can let her get caught here. We'll let her get caught. We'll run up there. Because once she gets caught, the guy's going to go to that back corner anyways. So let's just get out of here. Don't grab me. Thanks for not grabbing me. Or Ashley's just going to keep coming. She's just going to do her own thing. I think once we go through this door, she's going to teleport to us. What? WTF? Okay. Um, that was unexpected. She wouldn't even capture, bro. Hmm. Hmm. I should probably... Oh, that was lucky. Let her get up to me. Because if she gets captured, we can just flashbang him from here. Because the guy runs over to this corner. And then that'll release her. Come on, Ashley. Are you just going to sit there? Okay, she's grabbed. That did not do a damn thing. This is going to be bright. Okay. Now that he put her down. Mm. There she is. Had a waste of a lot of flashbangs, man. Damn. That was lucky. Realistically, I should not have opened those until I saved. Damn. But that's pretty lucky. So let us go repair our knife. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. I got some rare things to give you, stranger. Sell those resources. Tune up my knife. Tune up that. Oh, hey. We can max out our knife, baby. Oh, baby. That is great. Oh, baby. You got another first aid spray? You do. And you got some more resources. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, so I, I kind of like the bolt thrower. I don't know. Maybe I'm just one of those heathens. I hate how long it takes to pop out. It's not as bad as the explosive bow in uh, separate ways. But it is it does take quite a while to kind of like pop out and then to put it away. So, all right. Let's create flashbangs. All three flashbangs that I can make. And let's save. Dope. Okay. Can't even get those blue medallions. Look, a so what I want to do first is... Yeah, we'll get this one. Oh, you little rat. Come here. There we go. Alright, Ashley sits on this. I sit over here. I'm curious to know how the chair puzzle detects the difference between Leon and Ashley. Does it go based off weight? But, like, what if the queen, back when the guy made this puzzle, was overweight? I don't get it. I don't get it. Does it, like, detect the difference in the ass that's sitting on it? Like, I I'm curious how this sensor works. Okay, had one of three. Alright, I am going to save, because I'm actually going to do the... Okay, yeah, I do like that setup. I do like my having grenades being in four. Uh, save here. Since we didn't really open anything. We'll use our small grenade 
to just stun the guy. There's the guy that lowers the bridge, forces you to go down into the area to fight. But we are just gonna hand grenade him. Well-known tactic. Uh, but later on, if we do do a true knife only, there we go. You throw it, a hand grenade's easier because a flashbang you can um, you can miss. Or like you could throw it too early and the guy won't have been spawned in. And Jesus Christ, man, another heavy grenade. I mean, we're not going to use the heavy grenade. We're just going to use our flashbang to get through the guys that are back here. Like that. Bing! Get out of my way. Anybody die? Oh, Ashley. <laughs> Where are you at, girly? I didn't want to use all those, but you abandoned me. I was worried she was going to get hurt. All right. We have enough flashbangs for the next part, but I want to save in case my tactic isn't good enough. We do have a bunch of heavy grenades. Heavy grenades we need to hold on to for the Garadors. Oh, actually, can I buy the heavy grenade? He doesn't have the heavy grenade recipe yet. I can't think of when you get that. Hmm, pesetas. Not what I wanted. Let's see what we get from here. A boot knife. Okay, that'll leave me not up shit creek. A hand grenade. Okay, that's fine. That'll be pretty useful. This little one, probably pretty useful. And, uh... Leon, you missed your elbow strike there, bud. Um, this little hand grenade will be useful for, like, stunning the armors. Armaduras. Oh, there really was nothing up here. I just made the uh, the circle for nothing. All right, go down, raid this place, and then we'll start the fight. Stay up there. Okay, be heavy grenade? Jesus Christ. Man, I'm lucky with these heavy grenades. Oh, yeah, Leon's so fast with this dang knife. Combine you two. Craft some flashbangs. How many can I make? Three. Ooh, dang. That's a lot of flashbangs. I think we're doing pretty good. All right. Use these little grenades. Can I stun him before he attacks? <laughs> I think I'm going to try and get him to attack. Nice! Ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. Hey, you want to do... Oh, I was not expecting to get hit. Okay. Stabbing their armor, I think, does do a little bit of damage. If you... I mean, it does, like, minuscule damage comparatively to, like, shooting them in the Plaga. Oh, he's coming down with a strike. Wow, I couldn't get out of that. That sucks. Use that. Come on, dude. Will you fall over? Come on, bro. Just fall over. Let me kick you. Let me do the kickaroo. Come on, kickarooski. Fall on the ground. Stop hurting me. I know I have a lot of healing items, but please, for the love of God. There we go. And there is no reason to do anything but flashbang. And we're going to eat a fish. Give me some life. 
All right, this guy's kind of a dick, so we're gonna knife the back. No, the no. Knife the plaga, not his damn armor. Oh, you missed. You missed. I wonder if Ashley will throw a lantern. Hey, Ashley, you wanna throw a lantern? Yes. That was pretty good. I'm gonna stand right here. Get that guy to walk straight into it. No. It went down. It went down. Ashley, please don't waste him. She got one more, so that's fine. And I think it's the main one that's a bastard. The hell even is he? There he is. Yeah, this guy's got the flog in his back, too. I think this would be a good time to use my hand grenade. She kind of missed with the lantern there, so that does me no favors. Oh! <laughs> Crap. I'm stuck in a bad spot. And I wasted my hand grenades. So we'll use that. Oh, you coming down. Come down with your strike. And, yeah, hit me with yours, dude. That wasn't very fair. That was fair, though, because that, that attack just went right through me. <laughs> oh, nice. I knocked off the other guy's helmet, too. All right, well, that's all three of them. Ting. Yes, Ashley, I'm doing yeah. just peachy. Nighty night. Nights. Skills. Are you sure you're all right? You're not burned, skills. You? Skills, skills, skills. I really did the trick. <laughs> to be fair, the load that is put on your back if you were to catch, you know, an average weight female jumping from what is that? Fifteen feet? What would you would you call that? Fifteen feet? See, Leon's I don't know, probably like Let's do like six foot. It's at least 12 feet. At least. And if Leon's not quite six foot, that's definitely like 15 feet or something. Oh, no, don't you run away from me. I got you, dude. I got the speed. I got the speed on this knife. I'll be shanking you faster than you can cry about it. Tons of gunpowder. Not enough to get a flashbang. It's all oneers. Alright. Prepare the knife, repair the armor. I mean, we are just going into Ashley's section, so. Save right there. Alright. And Ashley's section is nothing to write home about. We're just going to try and speed run through it. I don't care about getting anything inside of it. We don't need the treasures or anything like that. We just need to get through it. Just get to the fun parts. Playing as Leon. Alright. Only play on hardcore and professional, so I think this is always seven twelve. Yep, always.
her dialogue is so funny when you skip the rest of it. Didn't I just say I was done? She only sees the armor one time, is already like, oh, I'm so done with the armor. I'm so done with it. To be fair, though, if I saw living armor one time, I'd be done with it, too. Oh, he's gonna kill me. No, he's not gonna kill me. Thank God. Alright, and this last one is the hardest one to get out of. Freeze. Run. Run. I hate that. It's always so stressful for me. One hit, Ashley's dead as a doornail. The heck? We'll hand it to her, though. She's braver than all hell. Being able to get through this. And there's no point in turning your camera around here because it's just going to rip it right back to the center of this little mausoleum thing. So you might as well just hold back and go. No, no, yeah. Don't go out. You can't move your camera. Yes. Of this. Oh, she does not have quick sprinting upstairs strats. It's amazing how this forward most armadura got in. You guys notice the sword right here? Is literally going. I just pointed at the screen thinking you could see that, but this guy's sword is literally pointed to the other guy's arm. And it's funny how the armaduras can, con or the plagas inside the armaduras can control the hand, the fingers, when you see that they end as like little red nubs. But hey, it's scary as hell, so I'm not going to complain. Yep, come on down, bud. He gets around you. I'm not going to go for the speedrunning tactic where you try and, like, squeeze through him on, like, 30 FPS or something crazy. I always want to go to the end of the hallway there and take instead of taking that immediate right. I don't know why. These guys are just hanging out. They don't know what's going on. Almost there. Here we are. Done and over with. And we don't have to worry about Ashley until the later parts of the island. No, Ada, I have not changed my mind. I don't even remember what the response is. Why does she even say that? I forget. Okay, what kind of new wares you got? Did you restock your first aid sprays? You did. And your large resources. Nice. 8 by 13. I think 9 by 13 is the biggest. And we just bought the um, heavy hand grenade recipe. Now, to be fair, I don't know if I'm actually going to use it. I am going to go back and get a few treasures um, just to ensure that I have enough money. I almost guarantee that the... I just spent a lot upgrading the knife, but I almost guarantee that we'll have enough for the end of the game. But I'm just going to just top it off just in case. But we do have two really fucking difficult sections coming up. And that is the ballroom with all of the Novista doors and dealing with the double Garadors, which is why we need those heavy grenades. Now, if we 
expose the Plaga on the Gyarados' backs, we can throw a flashbang, and that'll deal like buku damage to their to their hind end. But to get him exposed, I don't know if the heavy grenade will do it. And I'm hoping that I can just get by these guys without having to play with them. I don't really want to play with them. Hey, you guys are gonna make me play with you. I don't want to play with you. Oh, I might be able to get through here. Get the Justicia, Justicia statue. That's hard to say. Justicia statue. Oh, wow. I tried two times to turn my camera around, and they both failed. But she gave me an opening. I can push through. And I'm out. I am not dealing with this crap anymore. Sorry, guys. How much glory to Lost Plagas you want, but I ain't playing it. I ain't playing it. And I have a snake. Oh, you know what? The fish, I think, respawned in the fountain. I think they respawn every chapter. I should make an attempt to run back there and pick them up. I could have gone through the water room. But I think that would be more dangerous than just running through the hedge maze. So let's try it out. I mean, I do have plenty of healing. But I think I'd rather grab the fish and just have that extra bit of insurance. You know what I'm saying? Save right here. Just in case I get totally fucked up. All right, zoom, zoom, zoom. One guy I see. There's one guy I fly right by the. And he's coming after me, isn't he? And, ooh, there's the big fish. Come here, big fry. There's a little fry. And another big fry. Dang, bro. Two big fry. Three big fry. What the hell? We'll use one of them just because. How the hell do three bass get that big in this little bit of water? All right, well, that's plenty for the Novistadors. They are real sons of bitches, so. Oh, you know what's funny? I totally called out that I would forget to go back to uh, the room that's over there. The first one you go to once you pass by the little little fountain and get whatever the hell's in that. I think it's a treasure. I think it's a depraved idol, if I remember. Because I think Ashley comments on it and calls it something super disgusting. Like, it looks stupid. Which I don't blame her. I mean, <laughs> they do kind of look stupid. Um, I have not... Oh, I need to sell my ammunition. Why do I have ammo on me? There's some more handgun ammo right here. We'll just use it to sell. And then there's the rat for the extra spinels in here. Where's he at? Oh, I saw him at the corner of my eye. There we go. A couple of spinels for me. And that'll just be like for treasure. There's nothing else that we're going to upgrade. Literally have everything that we could possibly need to upgrade. We'll go up here and raid these two cabinets. Oh, I've already raided them. Okay, never mind. Never mundo. Disregard. And in case you're wondering, no, the enemies that are in the like the art gallery, they have not despawned. Well, they might have despawned and replaced with new ones. But there's enemies in there is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I have 13 pesetas. And I can grab a bunch more of There's these gunpowders. Yeah. How many do I have now? Four. Welcome. All right, I'm going to sell handgun ammo and I'll shotgun shells. And the small resources, Thank clear you. up some space. 
uh, inlay. Three of a kind, or three separates. I don't have enough to finish that one. Don't have enough to finish that. I can do the Justicia statue. And let's inlay... Nah, fuck it. We won't do that to that. We'll just sell the Justicia and the butterfly statue. Or the butterfly lamp. Call that good. And we have five flashbangs. That is plenty. We still got our golden egg. A bunch of the big fish. And a small fish. So yeah, these Novistadors, man. It's Oh, you know what? It's going to be flashbang city for the Novis. Because we can't kill any of them. Normally you'd have a shotgun and you'd like shoot one that's in front of you if it got in your way. But we're going to just flashbang these guys into oblivion so we're going to grab as many flashbangs as we can we don't need the heavy grenades we're going to hold on to those and we're just make more flashbangs just to make it safe we will hold that just in case this was a bad idea <laughs> we are going to find a, a little bit of gunpowder just inside the ballroom like when we first walk into it but I'm just going to err on the side of caution Dude, there's a fucking ghost in here. Do you see that chair fall over? All right, so these Novies, they are going to want to play. Like, that one right there is going to want to play. So we'll jump. And we got to go quick because there's no way, unless we throw a flashbang, there's really no way to deal with these guys. And I don't really want to throw a flashbang. Just get up in the door. There we go. Nice. Not too much pain and suffering was cured. We got a first aid spray. Nice. What you got? Uh, we don't need those. I'll probably just throw that in the trash. If it gets in the way, I will throw it away, but... But this next part, man, is just going to be Flash Bang City. We just... Yeah, we just got to Flash Bang them and go. These guys are going to come up from here. Oh, man. I'm so I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh, he got me. Oh no, he's in my way. Oh my god, I'm up. Can they knock me off the ladder? So this guy's blocking me. We'll just flash bang these jamokes. Pull that, and pray to God I can jump down. There's going to be a Novistador that spawns right in this hole. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Whole bunch of Novis. I don't need the gem, but I do need the grenade that's in here. Okay. And we will heal using a big fish. Ay. Ay, 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 ay. I'm usually really well able to just keep my face down and run. I wonder... I got the red herb. Nice. Don't get hit, Leon. You got hit. You got hit. No worries, though, because that's the exit right there. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's a lot of Novies. Get through, get through. Okay. I do have one grenade. We need two grenades. That sucks. We might have to use a heavy grenade. I totally forgot about this part. And what's really going to doubly suck if <laughs> we can't hit one with a grenade and we have to get a... I have to get the pistol. So this grenade will go really far. I really wish I could see the lower end of where this grenade's going to go. I think right... Nah, we'll use the heavy grenade for it. Just because it might have... I think it has a bigger explosion. Okay, dope. That's one. All right, yeah, it's right there. I can see it. We got it. Nice. 
Now, this being hardcore, we do have an autosave before the room that we can load up and not have to go through the Novi room again. But I did have that earlier save just in case we are FUC fucked. Skip that. And there's a flashbang right here. But we won't need it. Not yet, anyway. Because so we don't need to flashbang these guys. Why are you defending yourself? <laughs> hey, guys, you wanna... Yeah, break free? Oh, my God, he almost got me! Uh, that didn't look like it did much. Mm. Yeah, I might have preemptively thrown all of my heavy grenades a little earlier than I should have. No worries, we'll see if we can get through. You know what? I should have saved them and gone with the backstab strats. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, they're coming after. Oh my god. Do have another hand grenade? Okay, that's two hand grenades. Hey, 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 dude. Hey. Oh no. He didn't. They didn't hear the guy. Wow. I should have crouched. Okay. Just use a first aid spray. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, please. hope me running here doesn't land me up shit creek. Just walk a little bit. Yeah, I probably should have saved my heavy grenades until after all these moose knuckles were killed. They are coming for me. Just start walking. Just start walking. Because there's so many of these guys. And just doing the speed strat of trying to kill the Garador's is not very viable. Ah! Got him. Shit. That Garador heard me. Yeah, so this isn't going very well. We're going to reload that autosave. And we're going to go with the, let them clear out the room. Alright. Flashbang. I wonder if me breaking these will get them to break out of their chains. No. Oh, another heavy grenade. Jesus. Uh, I can craft a flashbang. So, craft a... Can't craft a heavy grenade. I'm one powder away. Yikes, that was close. Oh yeah, no, we don't need those bolts. Alright, there it is. And they're gonna come running at me. And these guys are just in the way, so. Oh please, oh please see him. No, not me! Leon doing all his fucking moving around again. Once these guys get close. Oh no, the Gyarados right there. Oh crap. Yeah, they heard me. Those guys are now dead. 
And I've got some more goon powder. All right, we need to go upstairs. Oh, I need to heal. Eat one of the big fish. Um, crouch and walk, crouch and walk, crouch and walk, crouch and walk. There are a bunch of guys here. <laughs> oh no, he heard, he heard, he heard. He heard. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I tried going for the bell. Didn't work. Gear door. Gear door. I had no choice. I had to run out of there. Oh, they are taking care of them up there, though. You got got, bro. You got got. You got got. Let's just get out of here. Hopefully by that point they got that guy. Oh, here's this dude. I gotta get behind him. There's two dudes. I just need to go. Run away. Yeah, this is about the funnest gameplay I can put on right now. I like Garador has it out for him. He's going to come straight to me if I run. Which, in like two shakes of a lamb's tail, won't be too bad. Unless he goes through this little door. Oh, no. Yikes! Oh my god. Oh my god. Get out of here. Alright. We need to heal. Okay. They're right next to each other. Oh, you son of a fucking biatch! The shield guy blocked me. That was scummy. Man. But it looks like it's just the one gal left. So we'll just slowly walk. Oh my god. He's right there. Hit him. Hit him. He's right here. He is right there. Hit him. He's right there. Oh, and there's this guy, too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ugh. He heard me. I had to go quick. I had to get out of there. All right, so what's this on the ground? Is this a hand grenade? Nice. Where they at? Where they at? Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. He's right there for you to kill. I can flashbang him, but there's no reason when... Yep, there's a Gyarados right there. <sighs> so. It seems like we are at the point where it's just the Gyarados. So I think what I can do... There's something over here? Oh, bolts. I think... I can throw a flashbang. And they'll run towards it. Oh, the bell's destroyed. That sucks. Or I can sprint and get them into the one spot. Stab them. 
One guy will protrude. If they get close together, I can heavy grenade them. Okay. That do a lot of good damage. Probably not. But if they do stay spread apart... Fuck it. Throw another one. They're right there, right next to each other. And he dead. Oh, they both dead. Good. Okay, well. You know what's funny is the bottom of those unicorn tips are like... Like lighters. They just look like lighters, honestly. Alright, I do have enough space to pick up some of this stuff as money. Money, money, money. So go grab the other other bolts that were down here. Am I missing anything? No. Okay. And like I said, now that we're through here, I don't want to come back to get the golden egg that's in the throne room. Alright, and here we are. We are down in the pits. So where's the hole that we came from? That's the hole right there that we came from. I'm curious how... I guess they could have walked on this little walkway and thrown these guys under this. But if they're just throwing dudes down this pit, like I don't see how you can go from the center of the hole to like way out here. You'd think they would all be, like, perfectly, like, in the center, like, right below the hole, like, somewhere around here. Like where this guy is is, like, dead nuts below the, the center of the hole. I don't know how anybody else gets around these other parts. I don't want to forget this green herb. I always forget that freaking green herb. And you can't come back. While we're doing that, I'm going to get a sip of water. I do have to hold forward here, otherwise Leon will just stop. Alright, so the Novies are going to be a real pain in the butt, because I just got to run around them. There ain't no... There ain't no toying with them. Because otherwise, I got to use durability on my knife, and... So I think I know where they all are. But if I do get caught, it's no worries. I'll just... I don't know, use my boot knife if I break my main knife. There's only four of them. There's the guy here to my left, then there's three in the area afterwards. So, and he is right there, and he freaking hit me. That wasn't very nice. I can eat a snake. Should I just use a first aid spray? I got plenty of them. Or I can just eat the snake. Yeah, I'll just eat the snake for safety in this part. Verdugo. I don't have a plan for Verdugo. I'm going to be straight up. I do not have a plan. He's right there. Oh, well, my attempt at backtracking did not work. There's another guy right here, and he got me too. Okay, that's fine. And there's a third one. He right here. He is right there. Almost got by him. Whatever, I got plenty of healing. Pick up the elegant crown. What a treasure to be leaving down here. No, we are getting another yellow herb. I was thinking about crafting a flashbang or a heavy grenade, but I think I'm going to hold off. We might need to heavy grenade Verdugo. We might need to um, cool him off with the 
nitrogen liquid nitrogen showers can i get it 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 is there a way to elevate leon can i get it 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 no Might need to use like two heavy grenades to blow him up when he's in the liquid nitrogen stage. Alright, we will save right here. And for a reason, welcome. Ooh, what you oh, he doesn't have anything else for me. Okay, tune up my knife Good luck and you, my armor. And gun bolts, and then I've also got small resources oh, and detachable mines. A deal well struck. <laughs> okay. I can only create one heavy grenade. Yeah, we'll make that. And see if we get enough gunpowder to make another one. Missing anything? No. I think this is the best we got, the best strategy. More gunpowder, that's good. Don't need the handgun ammo. I'm not going to pick up the handgun ammo in this place. We will pick up the boot knife. Hand grenade. Okay, if he doesn't disappear, because you deal so much damage when he first pops out, then you can safely crank open the door. But if you... Yeah, I think you have to deal enough damage for him to disappear the first time. Open the gate. And then we're just not going to worry about anything else. It'll take. It'll cost as much health to go down and grab the stuff that's um, at the end of that hallway as it would to just run by it. There's no reason. I mean, theoretically, while we're kiting around, we could um, get the, like, break the boxes and stuff. I'll go for that if I'm feeling daring. All right, here we go. There he is. Come on out here, bud. Nitrogen you, grenade you, uh, fuck me. Is he running away? Yeah, I think I threw my heavy grenade too early. Raggy. Oh, he looks like he's running away though. Okay, no worries, no worries. We'll pick up plenty of gunpowder. Uh, now we do need gunpowder for heavy grenades for the double El Gigante fight. What we're going to want to do is kill the armored one using... Oh, no, we can't, because that requires using a magnum. Yeah, that strategy requires a magnum. You know, I just talked about how it's going to cost as much health to come get this as it is to just run by it, so... Ah, fuck it. Verdugo ain't here yet. Oh, that was good. Well, here we are. Uh, oh, I got a heavy grenade. Nice. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know where he is, but... I did pretty good getting all that stuff. And yeah, fuck the hand grenade ammo. Or hand grenade ammo. Hey. Hey, dudeitude. Hey. Hey, dudeitude. And here we are. We're just gonna go in circles. Oh, if it comes over here, that'll be nice. I prefer having the right side than having the left side. I mean, like, as far as the camera, like, sitting over my shoulder. I'd rather be looking at him over my right. Oh, crap. You know what? I got it. I might as well use it. 
give me more margin of error for this fight. I say fight, more like running away. And we literally just do this. The whole time. Hopefully I'm good enough. Got yeah, pretty much all the stuff that I want. I did miss one box. I think the one box is in the hallway leading to the elevator. We'll see it on the way there. I think we got a whole bunch of... Yeah, we got three heavy grenades from these boxes. And look at all of the gunpowder, dude. Oh my god, if we get out of here, dude, we are, we are good for the next part. Oh man, Leon was slow on his startup. Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. No, nope, come this way. Come this way. I do not want you to go to the other side. The game's going to tell us when the elevator gets here. It'll literally play a cutscene. And that's when we know we can go over to it. Get the hell out of here and leave Verdugo to his own devices. Fuck this guy. Oh, man. That was a close one. Oh, my God. All right. Well. Oh, I, I tried crouching, but I was sprinting. <laughs> no worries. God, such good gameplay. Oh, crap. Uh, I hate how Leon keeps wanting to face where the crosshair is. Oh, I tried to crouch, but I ended up pressing two. I keep holding sprint when I want to crouch, and you just, you can't do that. We learned that the hard way with Mendez. Everything priorities is like priority over the crouch button. So you can't hold out the knife. You can't sprint. Ah, there it is. You got to keep going. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. I don't even know if that was going to do anything, but... I'm praying to God that's going to, like, freeze him and put him in place. Oh, hey, dude. And we got another heavy grenade. Oh, my God, dude. The luck. The luck. Ah, look at all those heavy grenades, man. We, we came out better than we went in. Yeah, we don't have to deal with them anymore. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. So you probably can do that part without uh, grenades. You probably just gotta kick him the one time when he freezes and then just stab him while he's frozen as much as you can. Stab, 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 stab. And then he might be able to disappear after that. Yeah, definitely gonna save after that good luck. Christ alive. All right, how long have we been recording? Hmm. It's only been an hour and 40 minutes. I think well, we'll I keep going. So. What's in it for you? <laughs> no need to be suspicious. Said I'd help you tonight. All right, we'll save here. Chapter 11. I have something I'd welcome. Oh, yeah, you probably I have plenty have of things that'll interest me. You, Resources. Oh, you know what? <sighs> Flashbangs are good. Heavy grenades are good. Holding on to knives are good. What I'm going to do 
We'll sell that. No, ho, ho, ho. Why is this game not grabbing what I want? Sell the resource. The shotgun ammo. Not that. This. Put it right there. God, it is even more finicky than just the regular. Um, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? Oh, you get the special offer if you don't find it inside the library. Oh, you know what? Okay, we'll send a few of these to storage. Uh, yeah, we'll send a few of these to storage. No. What do I want to do, guys? Stocking up while you can. Wise choice. Yep. Don't okay. And we'll leave these for the heavy grenades. Yeah, I don't think we'll be needing to use anything but the flashbangs for this next part. I mean, technically, we can kill a couple of the guys because we're going up against two chainsaw dudes and a whole bunch of freaking um, ganados. There's a, something over here. Did I already get this? Why am I thinking there was something over here? Just money. You don't need to worry about them anymore. You didn't answer my question. What are you asking? You know what? I just I'm starting to second guess myself. I am going to buy a bigger case. I don't care if it costs a little extra to get the next size up. We probably won't even need it. Um, but I do want to get this biggest case size here. Yeah, to give us more space. I'm feeling like I'm going to be picking up a bunch of stuff, and I, I don't want to regret not having the space for it. Alright. If I die to the El Gigantes, we'll call it there. If I get past them, we'll save right before the minecart section. I do think I'm going to try and do a minimal shots run on the cart so we might die a few times to find out how many bullets we actually have to fire to get through but i am not worried about going down i think i just just want to fire as few shots as possible right, hold out our flashbang i don't care about the heels over there this guy is going to try and whack me oh he did whack me okay He dead. Believe me, I know. Ooh -wee. I was right next to death on that one. Did that count as an insta kill? Oh no. <laughs> no, that did not get an insta kill. I thought I was gonna be able to stab her to death too right there, but no, nah, it didn't work out. It don't matter. Is there literally nothing in that box? That's so rare. And so odd. Okay, this guy with the dang Molotov. I'll just run right by him. And this guy's gonna be in here. Oh, I almost got away. There is nothing. Four boxes in a row, there wasn't anything? Oh, I didn't even grab the damn dynamite. Oh, I'm so stupid. Crap. Oh my god. Just gonna get through. We're just gonna get through here. And we are not gonna grab that treasure. There's no point. That's just dangerous. And you know what's really funny is that the chainsaw dude can follow you down this tunnel. They can go, like, all the way up into this, to the end of this tunnel. I think... If you hide in the tunnel, they'll come after you. So what we're going to do is plant the dynamite. I don't want to even have to deal with them. We're just going to go this far. And we are going to 
drop a save. I didn't even realize Luis down in the bottom right has a little icon for him following you. That's so interesting. Oh yeah, let me tune up my knife and that. Okay. Alright, so we're going to do a couple of tests, if you will. Um, we'll throw as many of these heavy grenades as we can at the armored guy, because what we want to do is is get him out of the way. Um, I think... Unless we bring him to the middle and flash him. Can you flashbang him? No, because speedrunners would do that. Unless it's just quickest to you handle yourself pretty well. kill him. I'm not sure you're just a up on top of my speedrunner lore and, or like the whole whole strategy of how they go through this part. Um, I just know what I did for my S plus following i 3 uh little guide. So, well, I think we'll do. We'll test out. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he didn't. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. Yeah, that was a waste of a. Flashbang, but it doesn't matter because we dropped a save. So, okay, we'll raid this place after the fact. I want to kill him. I honestly don't know the best way. <laughs> Let's we'll just keep throwing grenades at him and see what happens. Is anything going to happen? Not a damn thing happened to the armored guy. Yeah, okay, so he's he's not he's not playing our game. So what I think we'll do, we'll load the auto save. Cause we did pretty good going up to it. And we will should we drop them both? Does it even matter? It's probably best to just drop them both. And we can flashbang the naked one. So if we flashbang, so we get him over here. Uh, he's going for a grab. Now we go back this way. Get the naked one onto the middle of this plate. Flashbang him. Bing! Okay, so we dropped the naked one. All that leaves is him. So Luis is going to abandon us, abandon us here in a second. It's not gonna break that thing, is it? I didn't think it could. Luis, are you gonna abandon me? Like, that's like your job, isn't it? All right, well, he's gonna hang out and attack Luis. Luis, I do not need your ammo. Please stop trying to give it to me. Oh, crap. Hey, he was coming for me. Hey, good thing I didn't use a uh, first aid spray. Now I can use it. Don't worry, I'll keep him busy. Don't you worry. Oh, he's getting pissed. He's going to do something stupid. Ah, uh, crap. He's going for his multi-attack. Um, do you want to fucking stop? <laughs> I actually managed to crouch under that. That was, like, totally a test of faith. Yep, come here, dude. Aw, oh, perfect. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to react to that. Does it blow up? Uh, it didn't blow up. It didn't blow up. It didn't blow up. Do we need a handgun to blow that thing up? Oh, fuck me. That hurt. 
Are we actually going to have to shoot it? So in case you guys are wondering, yes, maximum gunless as much as I can. Oh, he's going. He's going to hit me. He's going to hit me. Yep, he's going to hit me. Maximum gunless is the way we want to go. Even one single bullet fired. Oh, fuck. I didn't think it was going to be so quick. But this is just a test phase. Yeah, just come here, dude. I'm trying to blow the thing up on your back, man. Oh, nice. Yeah. Your, uh, your ability to track me down is pretty crazy. Here you go. <gasps> okay, blew up. Nice. Okay, well that worked. Did use a lot of grenades that I didn't want to, but can't really complain too much. We'll get those resources back. Next thing is just running through the Verdugo, or not the Verdugo, the Novistador cave and fighting Krauser. And then we go to the clock tower. So, yeah, we'll have plenty of time to get our resources back up. I think we're fine. Yeah, I think we're fine. I do have a save just in case. If we do get that far and we're like, man, I really could use a, you know, all eight of those grenades, then we'll have something to reload. But we'll go up here, we'll save right before the minecart, and we'll call it. We'll call it for part three. That was a pretty productive one. It was a lot of good luck. All right, well, I appreciate you guys once again for sticking with me this far. Next part, obviously, we're going to go through the mine shaft. Um, as I stated before, I am going to make this into a short-form video because I know there's not a lot of views that are going to be got on this actual long, long run. But it's going to be nice to have the proof, you know, just the all the crazy, fun little things that happened. Um, so, yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Peace.